Hey, what's up? You're watching Steam League Night, and welcome to Fire Emblem Gaiden Blind Iron Man. That's right, it's my first time playing through this game, and we're not going to be resetting upon character death. Once the character is dead, they're gone for good. So this is going to be hardcore, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be an insane challenge, it's going to be a ton of fun, so come along and join us for this wild ride. Alright, so accompanying me on this playthrough are going to be my friends Blue. Hi, hi. And Rotator. Hola. All right, so let's go. Let's see what craziness awaits. And it is Iron Man. Yep. All right, Mason, old gray guy. So it looks like he's gonna be a Jagan. And is it red bow. eyes? No, gray hair. No, he's got red eyes. Does he? I can't tell. Anyway, band is foreshadowing. So anyway, right away, this is different than other Fire Emblem games. You can like walk around town. You also enter these doors, which don't close when you exit them. I mean, she's on your manners. <laughs> Yo, all. So all these villagers say the same thing. All these. Who are these people? Okay. I don't know. There's this now is we Uka. have somebody with. Ooh, a coup. <laughs> King has been killed, and is this some kind of resistance That's form? supposed to be a guy or girl, because Luca can be either. Honestly, I can't tell based on the appearance or that name. That looks like a guy to me. I think so too, but I can't tell. Okay, so now what do we gotta do? Okay, we gotta ask the old man, who has now moved in, and he also has not closed the door behind himself. Jeez, none of these people not? have manners. Okay, well he doesn't want it. Want to join the Liberation Forces? Fine, I'll go liberate the country myself. Goodbye. Well, that's too bad. Huh, so my son was once I was once a big deal. What huh? is he a chicken? No. Probably. Okay. Joins what is up complete. with that mouth? I don't know. <laughs> like, I like how he just joined the army. Disappears. Yeah, uh, what's up, Cliff? It's like it's an item. Hey, it's that. Robin. Look. <laughs> so this is what Robin no. was doing before Why they found him on the ground in Awakening. Wait, 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 is that a guy? Actually, that might that be a girl. And uh, gray. He's like way up in there. His hair is green. I, I, it's gray. I know. His name is Gray. <laughs> Okay, so let's go beat up Dozer, the ra the Ramwoods. Ramwoods. But I like how the I like how when the villagers disappear, it's like their item. <laughs> yeah, as I get an item. So here we go. This is the battle, and enemies do not display their attack range when you click on them. So like we gotta guesstimate, or you know, and this, they move forward. This battles. is why I don't like. Yeah. No. This is why I don't like going back to previous games in a series that I start midway. Like, I started from Awakening, I think I said. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Boom, you select them, and I guess... Like, it kind of reminds me a lot. Like, oh, well, this can apply to just about any series, really. Like, say, for instance, Tales and stuff. Like, they used to have... Like a random encounter system, and now they oh changed goodness. it. So it's really weird. Like if you try to go back and play the old games. Yeah, it's gonna be really strange playing with folks like enemy range indicators, and I guess you have to manually end the turn. No auto end. I think it's called smart end in later games. Yeah, so here we go. Battles. I just realized. Oh wait, no, never mind. Wow, is this just epic? He, he finishes! Oh, yeah. Okay, so what, there's group XP and individual XP here? Interesting. I guess so. I guess everyone joins XP so many fights and a person earns more XP? Huh. I guess. Okay, anti dodge! Well. <sighs> there's no dodge animations. I mean. Don't you just dodge by standing there? I mean, come on, still. I know. I I wonder if group EXP is going to be a thing in the Echoes. 
Okay, so like I can't. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. So I so, okay, so I can't like move my cursor onto the enemy. I have to like stand beside them and then like fight. But, like the controls are are quite different. Agreed. This is definitely weird. Yeah. Also noticing that the enemy sprays turned darker when you got into like critical health range. Okay, sweet, first enemy killed. Slain. 21 XP. <laughs> also, I don't see anything indicating a weapons triangle. There's no weapons triangle here, is there? No, there's no weapons triangle in this game and there won't be in Echoes. In Echoes, yep. Weapons triangle did not become until I think the fourth game? Am I right, Blue? Uh, I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, for, I mean, the oldest one I played was seven, so. Like, I mostly just watch walkthroughs. Like, that's kind of what I did before I started playing the series, so. Like, I never really paid attention. So. <laughs> I mean, I kind of looked into genealogy and stuff, but I never actually played it myself. I tried playing genealogy once, but it never got very far in it. It could be because I was playing it in Japanese. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would make it difficult. And I was very young then. Okay. 15 XP. Yay. Okay, so the trees are not blocking your path. No, they don't seem to reduce movement like they do in Heroes. Oh, look! Green Sprite! Oh, poked him right in the eye! Oh, that's brutal. Why Why is there a green sprite for Luca? Is it because Luca's green? Just... No. Or is Luca's it because of his green. class? Lu Luca's the one that's red. Yeah, like his... So Luca's the one like with his, red hair. Yeah, his face sprite is red and his battle sprite is red. Like, what's up with that? And it's... Also, Ana's been in every game in the series. Is this that one? That she wasn't? I don't know. I guess, we, I guess we'll see. Oh, come on, Robin. Dude, can't <laughs> Robin's got horrible accuracy. I'm gonna look that up. On a fire. Okay. Not a free emblem. On a fire emblem. So another thing I'm noticing is that, like, the battle of stats, they don't show you the actual percentage chances, they just show, like, menu bars. Uh huh. I hope that's an option in the next year in Echoes because I, I mean, think for, I mean, by for default, sure they gotta show chances, show the percent chances. Well, no, actually they don't. They don't in uh, the video that we've seen. Really? Uh, they, they show they show these bars, the hit, attack, and defense. But I'm assuming that there's going to be an option to show the calculated chances. Yeah, yeah, because I'd be like super annoying. You have permanent death and ha. Huh? You know, like what, like, what percent chance am I gonna bank this on? Like, like you know, it's, it's gonna be weird not having numbers. That being well, I mean, said... permadeath is not perma permadeath is not guaranteed in that because we already know that they're gonna uh, casual and phoenix bones. Like, what do you think I am? Filthy casual? Excuse me? Do you think it would even <laughs> highlight those menus with my cursor? Okay. I mean, anyway, considering that you find it difficult to uh, get good, yeah. Anna is a reoccurring character in the Fire Emblem series. Every primary, except for Fire Emblem Gaiden. So correct. Okay, no Anna. Well, okay. No. Well, okay. You know what? L let's hang up this one. This game's not even worth playing. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> anyway, uh, so I'm wondering if they're gonna bring Anna. To oh my goodness, um... Robin can't hit anything. I know, right? I mean, of course. Anyway. I mean, of course, they're going to bring her in. She's gonna be a DLC character, right? At least that's well, what I guess. Well, I don't guess. know if she's gonna be an, a DLC the shop for the DLC. Like, the the face for the DLC shop. Well, we'll find out in two months, right? Two months at minimum. Or, at maximum. Yeah. Unless they do what Smash Bros. did. Well, actually, no. No, the Japanese version is released, I think, on uh, April 19th or 20th. Well, Robin I was saying... do uh, anything. Yeah, Robin clearly sucks. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's just check, check out the stats. Okay, assault. <laughs> and before this episode is titled, This Game Is Not Awakening. Okay, wait, wait what? <sighs> because Robin is not good. Get good, Robin, seriously. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, well, let's look at the stats. I mean, okay, well, his skill is two. Okay, look at Cliff. Two speed, <laughs> <Twice>. one skill. <laughs> Power defense. Uh, power? What is power? I guess that just means attack. <laughs> Combined magic slash. Uh, might. Oh yeah, because it works. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, straight strength magic. Okay, well, Cliff has got a lot of luck. Uh, Robin's got nothing going for them. I say them because I'm still not sure if Robin is a boy or a girl. <laughs> all of these characters with unisex names, and all of them look unisex. Yeah. Okay, we know Alum is a guy. Well, okay, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. The game does not want you to assume their gender. Uh, excuse me? Like, excuse this me, this game was me. made in 1991. <laughs> exactly. We will not have this, um, you know. Well, I was kind made of in 1991. Actually, I was made in 1990. Wait, and where are we going with this? <laughs> I don't know, but we conquered the thieves. Yeah. Uh, you know where we're going? We're going to the world map. Where you can select where you go, I guess. Let's go to the very end. Yeah, let's go to the castle and beat up General let's Dozer. Let's go to the final boss. Let's go to the final boss, correct. Oh. Well, Whoa. there we go. That's Dozer. His power is 215, and that's Slater. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. You can see the units and their power and... Right. So, Fia Gate. Whatever that means. I wonder if that's like this game's version of what they... Oh, um, I don't know, like it looked like it was the name of whatever it... Okay, so like, this is the location that was. I know, yeah. so I was making a bad joke. So I find it strange that even though it's called Ram Woods, there was no Ram in that way. Excuse me, Ram Sego to the cross I didn't see any Rams. <laughs> False so... advertising. No, oh. Steel has a point. This game is running on his computer's Ram power. <laughs> right, so um, if you look at these menus, like the right time period for this, like you can select them and 1991. Yeah, it is. And you can no, see no. Like, I'm saying whenever this game is. takes place. Oh, I don't see Alm pulling out his iPhone. Okay. Okay, so Alm is a fighter. Luke is a soldier, and the rest of the threes are villagers without the E. These guys don't believe in ER, they just put why R. Do, why, do, why does the cursor go over part of their name? So, I guess... That's, that's weird. There's also an item menu, okay. So, um... Okay, so if you actually want to move, we have to click the move menu, and then... You go Ram or Thief Woods. Enemy here! But are there thieves in the Thief Woods? Yes. Okay, no story chat. No story chat after the last battle or before this one. Like, it would be so nice to like see the narrative. Okay, so you can see enemy skills. Clearly someone does not know how to spell Archer. I, I know, right? Archer, Fighter, Villager. So some kind of weird Norse spelling. Uh, no, you see, these people are simple and convenient. Who needs the ER when you can just use the R at the end and it sounds the same? Like I said, this could be some kind of Norse spelling. Um, excuse me, Fire Emblem Heroes, Gron Raven, Raud Raven, Do Raven. Okay, well, let's see how archers are in this game. Assuming that's an archer, not a ballista. There's the thief. I just love it how like he attacks, goes back, attacks again. <laughs> I mean, I think it was like this in the Game Boy games, but oh, first range attack. And he missed. That archer looks pretty armored. Who is this? This is Alm. Yeah, so, um... More, more exciting battles, huh? I mean, is 
the ramen connect that good? I don't, I don't know. Like, maybe he's got good gross. I doubt it. Oh, archers can counter from one range. This is new. I mean, have you tried actual point blank? I mean, with an actual bow. Oh, point blank. It's kind of harder than it sounds. Oh, you mean in reality? Uh, no, I've never. Yeah, been, I've, ne well, I've never been in a position where I actually had to try shoot someone with a bow. So, uh, no. Never, I actually took up archery in high school. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Go, Robin. No, Dodging. Robin can't hit. Anyone. <laughs> but he can't get hit. He's going to be the first to die. <laughs> Honestly, at, at this rate, yes. Actually, no, and before Robin somehow survives the whole game. And <laughs> before Robin survives the single. Wait, 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 so I want to fight this guy before moving. Okay, there we go. Well, Gray seems to be at least somewhat effective. Yeah, it's interesting that like archers can counter because in most Fire games, archers can only attack from two range unless they have a short bow. Like, I don't know. I guess in this game, archers can attack from one range too. Interesting. Like so many things different from the newer games, and when I say newer, I mean starting on the Game Boy Advance. Just ran away. What is the AI doing? He's afraid of Robin, clearly. Ah, gonna be Robin some hoods. I mean, we all know that Robin is the true hero of this game. Because all Fire Emblem games are just like Awakening. Yeah, exa yeah ex exactly. So, so you can even, na even name your core in Robin, and there you go. Wait, this is well, Robin. You already isn't. have Robin through DLC. Amiibo. And if you count that, if Amiibo is considered DLC, because you download it technically. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let just download an Amiibo off the internet. Hmm. I've read the. Um... Yo, I I actually have a Robin Amiibo. Yeah, I've read the dialogue from when Se Severa, Inigo, and Owain talk to Lucina during the Amiibo f Apparently, they're trying to imply that Lucina that you get through the Amiibo is actually coming from uh, Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah, the, the Lucina that you get through the Amiibo is coming oh, And yeah. so they, they, they remember, like, it's the Lucina... It's similar to the Lucina that the... Awakening Trio, no, but it's not exactly that. It's to see it from another dimension, you know, because dimensional travel is a thing since Awakening. Oh my goodness! Wait, wait, this is actually Cliff. Yo, someone might actually die here because they keep missing attacks. <laughs> this archer is so dodgy. <laughs> I know, Dark right? Thing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> You know, I, I gotta say, like, their hit rates are, like, less than half, but oh honestly, gosh, like... Oh he did it, he did it! Yeah, but, like, oh. see, this is the thing, I can't see what the hit rate is. Like, the game doesn't split the hit rate before a battle, so I don't know what, so I don't know what my chances to hit are. Okay, and that guy's just running. Oh, you know what? I think that the woods are actually giving the enemies, like, an increased odd chance. See, I have really low hit rate, and the enemy just climbed onto the woods. Again. Yo, so this game actually has terrain effects. I didn't know that. And the, he just turns tail and runs. Oh, good, so these guys just start retreating. Oh no. Oh, phew, Cliff. All right, so let's bring this dude over. Okay, there's still a low hit rate. Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, you know what? We like gotta bring an alm. You can take care of it, right? There we go. I 
I just realized something right now. Yeah? You know who this guy is? Who, which guy? The archer. Yeah? It's the 313 archer. Um, I'm sorry, this is the 1 2 archer. <laughs> Get your it's chapters right. It's secretly the 313 archer. What is this 313 archer you speak? <laughs> He's come to haunt us. <laughs> What is this 313 archer that you're talking about? This is Radiant. <laughs> Look at oh. <up. laughs> Okay, so all these misses have made the level so much harder than it needs to be. Like, I'm actually worried somebody might die here because of that freaking archer. I'm telling you, it's the 313 archer. It's not chapter 313! But he traveled from his universe in Radiant Dawn until this game. Is dimensional travel even a thing in Telius? So he's, what are these bandits well, doing? Let, let, let me pretend that it is, okay? I don't get it. Like, what are these bandits doing? They're, just like, they're, they're scared of Robin. They're scared of Robin. Robin has done nothing so far. Like, at this point, I, at this point, I would have to have all and Luca solo the whole map because the, because these villager dudes are just getting their asses kicked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna have to like look up enemy ranges. Moves four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so what if I move onto the woods, and that'll give me like a higher void rate. Wow, that 313 archer is really strong. Yeah, well, well, now we have we have the one two archer. <laughs> Indeed. All right. He just walked up to me and didn't even attack. What? I know, right? Like, like, what is this AI doing? <laughs> this AI is really. In before they're given shadowing AI. Oh come on. Okay, so notice how low the enemy's hit rate is. So there's definitely like a dodge, a dodge chance added to by um, the standing on the woods. Except I don't think terrain effects are, at least not terrain bonuses. Well, what do you mean bonuses? That is a terrain bonus, the dodge rate. I know. I don't okay. think that. health does this dude have? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it actually gives more defense to stand on the woods, but at least it gives dodge. And he just runs away? Like, what are these guys doing? It's... That's the, yeah, that's the one with the low HP. Go make Robin kill him. Let Robin die. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Luke and Alm go first. Yeah, see, he's on wood, so there's low hit rate. Also, um, yeah, Luca must like be the tank or something because he takes so little, little damage. Game before Luca's uh, Jaden. Well, my guess is that that would be Mycin, but we'll see. <laughs> oh look, level up! We got level up, finally! Level up! Power up by one, defense up by one, HP up by one, okay! Nice! So he's level two, so let's see his stats. I have no idea if that's good or bad, but he's by far the best unit I have. Well, he's the Lord. Yeah. Pray, he's the Lord. Wait, 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 how much health does this enemy dude have? See, it's, so you have to back out all the way to check what the enemy's health is. So much, it will be so much better than the enemy. Okay, come on. Come on, Grey. Hit. Oh my goodness. Is Grey gonna die? No, he oh. won't. If he kills the enemy here, he won't. Oh my goodness, Grey might actually be dead. dead, dead, dead. And he got Grey. one look. 
Level six. Actually, he might not be dead. If I could like kill this, kill this bandit, and then with the other villager kill the other bandit. If Cliff can actually get a hit, okay, good. But now you gotta rely on Robin. And we know how that's gonna go. <laughs> oh well. Let's see if I can save Gray. He's gonna have two hits, two chances. Come on, Robin. No, dodge. Oh no. Come on, Robin. Robin? Are you serious? You can't be serious. Robin, you're freaking useless. Like, like he missed his what? Not, not, died out of 10 attacks? Oh boy, here comes the boss man. Boss man! Who actually doesn't seem to have more significant stats. This might not, not actually be a boss, this just might be another regular enemy. See, that's how you fight. Robin Robin needs to take up some lessons from Alm. Indeed. Okay, so can Grey actually survive this? Oh my goodness, one health. And he dodges. Again! Oh, this is yeah. insane! <laughs> like, what's up with so these dodge much. rates? <laughs> Okay, wait. I, think this, I think this has to do with the way that um, the old games used to do RNG. Okay, so, well... So low hit rates actually were even lower than they looked at. So like a 50% hit rate is like a 10% hit rate? <laughs> okay, but we can count on Luca, right? Right, Luca? Right? Right? Go, Luca, go. Go, right? Luca, go. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> this is incredible. Who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? Wow! <laughs> I'm actually here to question. Like... Are there gonna be any healers in party? I think Celica can promote in. Okay, Robin, as useless as he is, Robin can survive a hit, right? Okay, no, no, Cl Cliff has more health. I'm gonna attack with Cliff. Come on, yeah. Cliff. These there we go, there wow. Go. Okay, this game is something else. I almost had someone die on the second map because we kept missing attacks. Power up, defense up. Wow, and once again, there's no cutscene at the end. Just. Well, you, you need to get the lemon something. Yeah, well, still, that was uh, really something. I didn't expect the start of this game to be that difficult. Or maybe I just got RNG screwed. See, there you go, there's no Ana in this game. We are, we, are, yeah. we, are, we are resigned to pointlessness and despair in a meaningless existence without Ana. Uh-huh. The RNG goddess is missing, so R so us over. We're screwed. What is... Why can you hover over the left half? Oh, it only kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of does that. I know. So, um, I mean, if you look at like their stats, I guess like Cliff's stats are so low, but I guess it must be Robin's super low skill. You know what? Maybe these villagers just suck. Well, I mean, they are villagers, and they don't have. Alright, well, alright, well, ooh, there's a rest command, what does that do? That... What? Did nothing. Anyway, I think that's enough for this episode, so we got a bit of a look into Fire Emblem Gaiden. No weapons triangle, no movement range indicators, no battle previews, no stats. Villagers suck, and RG is terrible, and oh my goodness, if the RG is gonna be like this, this is gonna be quite a ride. No Ana either. Yep. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Steelwig Nate and Friends. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to see the rest of the series and our cool Fire Emblem videos. Give the video a like. Thank you for watching. This is Steelwig Nate, signing off.